Alrighty, so let's get this open up as much as we can. Let's first remove the rest. Let's make sure we put that back together how it goes. This way we don't have to look at some pictures. And let's see what we got here. We got here. I think these are M3 bolts. We're just going to take them all out. We can line them up. These are obviously plastic bolts. The other one are machine bolts. Because these are having a coarse thread for going into plastic. Okay, a little bit extra force. It was glued and I don't think it was hot glue so I cannot see any separation here there's a zip tie right here holding that board in place this here this is the, uh, the screws which I couldn't get loose because they have lock nuts on them and that's why I couldn't get them out okay so here you now you see inside here's the twist mechanism in here is the magnet located with that axis and then here on this side on the PCB is the hall sensor for it. Okay the last part here is another hall sensor down here which is screwed in with those two screws. It has on the bottom a little mounting stand up or pedestal and this one is responsible a brake lever. A brake lever has a magnet right here, it's fixed in there, and that hall sensor picks that magnet up when we're activating our brake lever. And here we are with our buttons. Got my heat gun over here, and I also got a couple screwdrivers here with a fine tip. Let's see if we can get started on one and take one out. They're all nicely glued in with hot glue, so this will take some time to get this all disassembled. Hot glue is definitely melting a little bit, so let's unplug that. There's also hot glued in here, see so if we can take those out. There's one, there's two, let's see if there's some on the bottom here. Or if this whole assembly comes out or not. Let's take this one out first here. Oh, now we have a red one here. Let's get a couple marks on here in different colors so we know which one goes to what if they have the same pin layout. And carefully lift these ones out. We do not want to pull those on the cables. There's another sensor here in, in that part. You can see that here on that trigger part, it's a magnet, and the sensor is in here. Let's see how this is bolted in. Okay, that's a small M3, I believe, as well. All right, let's see if we can get this one out too. Can't access it from here. Okay, now we got it a little loose. Very good. This is very, very tight in here. And here we are. And this is how that one looks. It's of course slipped now over it. But it doesn't matter because we're going to take this all apart. All right. So this one goes next to that. And now we can get this one out. You can see this is just, they just drowned this thing, drowned it. All right. Mm 
And now we're cooking, literally. You do not want to pull right now while this is so hot on that cable because this will ruin your insulation. This puppy has to come out in some sort of way. Just removing that hot glue a little bit from the wall, the grip wall here. I think we're gonna have to apply a little bit more here. Ah, finally! We got him. Holy macaroni. That is a lot of hot glue in this one here. I'm gonna have to fold this a little bit so it will go through the hole. And here we are. Man, that's a lot of hot glue. I put that button back in here so we know where it goes. And here we are. Now you can see the whole contraption here. It's a mouse wheel with a scroll wheel which goes in here with has two tactile, tactile buttons here for obviously left or right move or for pushing and here's a button and there's a button uh, just a wheel and there's a button and here's our twist system Here's the spring for it, if you can see it. There's the spring, nicely machined by the way. Here's the spring, there's the magnet. And here is the hall sensor. So that's that part. And here's the empty grip. Now, that's the other side. All right, so we have taken it all apart. And now we're going to inspect our board, see what we can implement there, and then we go from there. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the components inside the grip in a more detailed way. Here you can see how this is all laid out. We got down here our twist system for the grip to, to twist. Here contained is the board for the hall sensor this board contains everything needed for the USB conversion and this is another board for the trigger buttons and all the head switches and so forth on the top of the grip this here is a dual stage trigger This board contains the LEDs, the trigger itself, a spring, and this is a plate which captures the movement. This board is mounted that we have three bolts to the head plate right here. So one, two, three. And the third one is located right below right below that plate. I wish they had a little cutout here, a little hole, which I will be adding to access this bolt, which you cannot unless you take this apart because you cannot bolt or use a key to tighten it. And all that would be needed is a little hole, which and would not matter for the structure or the structural integrity. So I'm gonna drill a small, probably one eighth inch hole in here to get a key in so I can tighten this up so I don't have to remove the whole assembly here with the spring load and everything to get this done. There's obviously right here different settings 
for the spring. So the spring is located inside here. Right here. And that arm can be moved in different positions. As indicated here, four positions. And that determines how tight that action is. Next we have the head plate with the three standoffs for this little board here. If you noticed, this board has a hall sensor right here, which goes into the headboard here. So the whole system will be mounted like this. And right here is the magnet for the hall sensor. There's also another hall sensor located right here and the magnet for it is right here. And this tells the chip here where that lever is located. So you have the full position when the magnet contacts this hall sensor half position, the magnet sits on one side of the hall sensor and then the magnet sits on the other side of the hall sensor when it's fully depressed. Alright, next thing. Here's the grip and this is kind of how this is all orientated. Let's take that out. There was a lot, a lot of hot glue in here. Here's the empty shell, and here are our components. On this side, we have the mouse wheel. We have the mouse wheel cage. There's two switches in here. The mouse wheel goes in here, and you can depress the switch in two stages. Then we have here another head switch. Here's the board from this side. Here's your chip. You have two buttons. First stage, second stage. It goes a spring on this one. Here's that spring that goes over here. When it is in the you can see how that looks. And on the trigger button or trigger lever, you have a socket here and this is where the spring goes in like so so now you're pressing and the second stage would then go onto the other button it's kind of hard to do without that bolt in there 
So first, second. On this side you have mostly connectors and here you can see the hall sensor right in here and that's pretty much it these are the mounting holes right here for the mouse wheel and after that it's just a bunch of cutouts and holes in the grip for the different switches and buttons. Now I cleaned those up, not this one here yet, but this is kind of how the button looks like. Here's my beloved red button. All cleaned up. And here's a hat switch. That's actually not one, but where's the other one? This is just a, a vertical one, and that's a hat switch. All cleaned up. The best way to clean those buttons up is to remove the the bigger part of the hot glue and then use alcohol meaning I have a you know distilled alcohol use a little spray bottle like this and I just soak this puppy in there until that glue softens up and then you can remove it and then you can scrape off the rest of it if needed but it's a, a big help soaking the stuff into with alcohol especially around the edges but as I said I just gonna spray this whole thing it doesn't hurt electronics just the way I do it okay and that concludes this video so that's it for today and next time I'm doing a deep dive on the four position analog mini stick and it's the one I had issues with as seen in my previous video named busted that video is coming soon so please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it don't forget to check out my Discord channel and visit my website at crashmetwice.com for more info on this and other projects. If you would like to support this channel, you can buy me a nice cup of coffee from the link below or on my website. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope I earned a like from you. Crash Me Twice, out. <laughs>